really no inspiration except for us wanting to go fast and make other people go fast. Hi, my name is Timothy Eichhorn, and I own NPR Racing Engines. I got my start um, in the streets down in Fort Lauderdale. Actually, we used to street race Mustangs. Um, my first car was an 89 Mustang GT. Me and my wife found a little bay up here in Boynton Beach, Florida, and we have just expanded over the last 20 years. It has been great. So we here at NPR Racing Engines obviously build racing engines. But we are a full machine shop facility. We do cylinder head work. We do all types of engines from outboard motors, jet ski motors, power sport motors, all the way up to ProMod motors. You name it, if it's got pistons in it, we can build it. We specialize in Ford modular engines. Um, ever since they came out back in 96 in the Crown Vicks, we've been working on those types of engines, all the way from two valve, three valve, four valve, the GT500s, and now, of course, the Coyotes, and you know all the generations of those. We're on top of all that stuff. Um, I'm a push rod guy at heart. I mean, obviously, we raced push rod engines for several years, um, but we do specialize in the overhead cam stuff. Bart Tobner. Eric Leeper, Dom Donato, Justin Jordan. I mean, that was just a few of the customers that just come off the top of my head, but man, there's so many of them, and these guys perform. I mean, everybody that comes to us knows that we're gonna give them an engine that can win. We have won numerous races with customers, and I gotta say the best one that I can remember is my son winning his first race. It was good he won his first race, but it was bad because he did it in a sealed Coyote stock car, which you can't do nothing to the engines. Watching him row through racers that I had been racing with for years that have moved over to that class was definitely one of the highlights of my career so far. So if I have a street guy, I'm gonna take all his needs into consideration and I'm gonna build him that engine for the street. Blower, turbo, whatever he's doing. NA just wants to drive it to a, to a car, car show. Now, on the other hand, if I get a customer that wants to build a race engine, we're gonna take those, all those aspects in it. Class racing, you know, grudge racing, road racing. Hell, the drag and drive stuff is really popular right now, so that's another aspect that, you know, that we really focus on. So it's basically focused on what the customer's needs are and we accommodate it. So we have been using Rottler machines for 15 years now. So obviously we have the F69A. Great machine, we have the H85AX, um, baddest hone they make. Uh, we have the S7M Surfacer. Um, I think that was our first machine that we bought. And we have an SG9, um, and we also have a, a valve refacer. The precision that they offer for the machines and in the timely manner that it takes us to get it done. The tool cutters that they have, everything that they have really makes it so it's very precise and one shot and done. My name is Tyler Eichhorn. I've been the machine, head machinist here for about 15 years here at NPR Racing Engines. We did our dry decking and 12 millimeter studs on a short block that we did. Um, pretty much when the customer picked it up, he was drooling over the piece of work. He pretty much knew that it wasn't even supposed to go in his car because it was just so beautiful. The way the Rottler was able to deck the block and also be able to do the line boring on the, on the main bores and also the 12 millimeter studs on the block was just a staple of our 3,000 horsepower Coyotes that we produce. Uh, the biggest pride that I have the most here is probably our 12 millimeter stud conversions that we uh, do on our Coyotes. Um, it really utilizes the Rottler cam, and uh, it allows me to uh, go in the previous holes, probe them out, then drill them, tap them, and also get them all ready to go for a 12 millimeter stud. Um, to do that by hand, it's a really hard and long process. It'll take me about maybe a full day or two days. Uh, this can get it done in 20 minutes. This machine really utilizes the Rottler cam in allowing us to do head studs, drilling and tapping fast and accurately on this machine. The biggest accomplishment I have is a lot of our racers 
Um, just when they're holding the trophy at the end of the weekend, I take the biggest pride in that. And then knowing that it was done on a Rottler and the engine comes back and it's in absolute perfect condition again, it just puts the staple to this brand. We're just constantly growing with what they're making in the times. So they're just always evolving. Um, so that's what we're really pumped about. Um, we're really excited to, to use their tool changing modes and also their coolant machines, their porting machines, so we could just speed up our sleeving and porting processes here. The biggest thing I gotta say is, you know, we try to stay on top of the technology as far as equipment goes. The Rottler stuff seems to be on the cutting edge. Either it's a tooling change on some of the stuff we have now or a whole different machine altogether. I looked at, you know, all the, all the machines out there and, and the biggest thing for me going with Rottler was the customer service. I mean, these guys knock it out of the park. I mean, you know, we've had a relationship, like I said, for over 15 years now, and there's not any time that I feel like they're leaving me out to dry. I mean, they always get back to me, they always have an answer, and they do not leave me hanging and keeping my business running.